落ちたら死にます。普通の登りじゃなくて、超急激な登りの上に。<laughs> Good morning, guys. It's five in the morning. Everybody's waking up now. The guides pass by our bunk beds, playing some music to wake us up. As you can see, it's still pitch dark, and we're all getting ready to have breakfast. Breakfast is 5 40, and we're supposed to be leaving this campsite in 20 minutes. I don't know how we're gonna do it, but. <laughs> in 20 minutes? In 20 minutes, yeah. So, so <laughs> stop recording already. <laughs> OK2 日目が始まりました朝食を20分ぐらいで食べて今朝の6時です6時に出発して今から先住民がいる一つの町に行きます町というか村に行きます、えー、最終ゴール地点までは今日1日トータルで2 0キロ歩くらしいですだいぶ歩きますよねしかも昨日とは全く違う道、えー、道幅も狭くて崖みたいなところを歩くようですそしてジャングルもう早速ジャングルみたいなところですねそしてもある<笑>これはすごいなんだこの道うおーオーケーオーケまだ日差しも照ってないですが暑いです湿気がやっぱすごいこれお昼になったらもっと大変になると思いますしかも今回は足場が結構悪いんで注意深く下を見ながら歩かないといけないですねはい。
the marijuana was being sold abroad, the marijuana was being sold to tourists here in the streets of Colombia, and the government decided to intervene. That's when they do, they did an agreement with the U.S. government to eradicate these marijuana crops. So they flew planes over these lands here. They had this special powder to eradicate all these marijuana crops. It was a success, you know, but the problem was that the farmers couldn't grow any more crops. Whenever they went back to the normal agriculture, they couldn't feed their families because they didn't have enough income. So that's when people came selling this idea of coca. So they proposed the farmer to grow the coca for them. And the farmers accepted, I mean, they needed to survive. And that's how most of these lands then in the 80s and the 90s got covered by the coca plantations. I gotta say, whew, man, this pad is rough. <laughs> there were even tours where you could go and see the process of how the coca was produced. That's when they decided to intervene in the early 2000s. And they came here and eradicate those coca plantations and gave away to farmers to come back to their normal businesses, which is basically um, the cattle business, the fishery business, and now some of them also work with tourism. Let's get the watermelon there. <laughs> we made it to our first stop and we got watermelon. Oh. We're sharing with the beast. Gracias, señor. Oh, yeah. Okay, 20 minutes ago, we're going to get another trip. Here we can see the bar. Oh, yeah. There are four different groups of indigenous tribes here in La Sierra Nevada of Santa Marta and today it's the first time we're going to visit two of them. Okay, The first group we're going to visit is the Wiwa and the second group we're going to visit is are the Kogi. It's going to be very interesting. <laughs> They have houses like this, made it with natural uh, materials from the nature, the wood, the palm tree, everything is from here, from the modern nature. They have normally the fire in the middle of the house to keep far away the mosquitoes and other flies. Hacemos el bolso de aquí de las montañas. And that's how they get the fiber and then pass to the woman and he, she's in charge to clean it, to dry it and to start sewing. The women are in charge to commercialize it because they have some shops here. Este son la, para hacer los colores, aquí tenemos. Utilizamos una soja de árboles, otro tipo, una corteza de árboles. ウィバ部族の人たちは
tastes like Kumba. <laughs> it's like super friendly. Yeah. Oh, it's super cute. コーギーという違う部族が住んでる場所に着きました。ここは約 <笑>ここ<笑> 家畜That's a problem. Okay. Really? This is a nice burn bath after that long walk in the morning. Oof. ほう、メドがすごいです、ここは。ゆるよ。オッケー。ゆるない。リオブリティカ。ね、そう。ちょっとこれ<笑><笑><笑> I see them. It's 1.13. We started walking about 13 minutes ago. We have three and a half hours more of walking. Uh, the first 30 minutes are going to be just going up, down, flat terrain. And then the next hour is going to be the most challenging one so far. Like this. Going up all the time. くら、くら。うわ、すごい。道幅は80センチぐらいしかありません。落ちたら死にます。<笑><笑> いや。さすがジャングルです。さすがロストシート呼ばれるだけあります。登り坂が半端ない。ずっと登り。しかも普通の登りじゃなくて超急激な登りの上に橋本がマジで悪いです。<笑><笑> 
this is this is what you call going up now. ジャングルを歩いてるとこういった壁に巣を作ってる鳥バランケロという鳥の巣が見つかります以前僕らは富士山に登ったこともあるし中国地方の大山という中国地方で一番高い山にも登ったことあるんですがこんなに汗をかいたことはありません暑すぎるもう800メートルを超ダッシュで走ってるのと同じぐらいの汗の量をかいてます見えますか皆さんまだまだ続きます OK これを行った先にはまた自然のプールがあるということで楽しみにそれを楽しみに今頑張って歩いてます歩いてると普通にバナナの木だったり、えー、アボカドの木だったりがいっぱいなってます<笑>日本だとすごいアボカドとか高いのにここだと自然になってますあら<笑>もう周りの山がかなり高く見えるぐらい高いところに登ってきました。どうやってんのか知らないけどガイドの人はずーっと喋りながら登り歩いてます彼すごいわ途中途中に民家があります作りはすごいシンプルですね当然ですけど窓も壁もありませんそしてチキンがいておおやっと休憩地点に着きましたおおおこれはやばかった。パイナップルはうまい。オレンジ、本当に。<笑>歩いてるとこうやって普通に豚が<笑>犬みたいにいますおーい。ひたすら歩き続けてかなり疲れが溜まってきてますもう汗がやばいけどあと15分ぐらいで着くらしいです
We're 93% of the way there. Let's go. Guys, we're here. We're arriving. Think about 30 more steps and we'll literally be at the campsite. Ten hours and a half later, 20 kilometers later, 21 actually, we are here at the campsite. I know made it. Ooh. Soaking sweat. This is our campsite for tonight. We've got bunk beds on this side and more bunk beds on this side. This is our beds apparently. How is it? It's super cold, right? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh my god. Wow. Oh. Whoa. Oh, wow. More than fresca. How are you, Ori-san? I'm peeing. <laughs> I cannot use it. Popcorn, this is Don't a luxury right here. Just, uh... <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> They're so good.今日は大分歩きました。そして、かなり綺麗な景色を見れたし、本当に初めて先住民がどういう感じの生活をしているのかっていうのが見れました。明日ついに3日目にして、いよいよロストシティ最終目的地にたどり着きます。楽しみですよ